All right, let's do our worship portion of the video. We're going to sing the second verse of Amazing Grace. And I also have uh, my harmonica that I, because I can't sing and play that. So I'm going to play my harmonica in the background. And this is what I recorded before. Here's my harmonica, by the way. It's just a cheapy one. But I had to tune it a little bit because uh, C4 didn't work very well. So, all right. So let's play the audio and let's sing verse number two. Sorry, there's a little bit of uh, lawn mowing happening outside today. <laughs> All right. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my tears how precious is the grace of the hour I first Today's uh, Bible reading, I'm, I was, uh, I'm going to be doing some coding that will be working with the, the moving of the land and everything like that, and moving Farmer Sam across the map and finally getting the tree integrated into there. So I was, I was thinking of uh, trees and farming, and uh, this verse came up, came up to me when I was uh, praying about today's uh, episode or seed to the sower so this is of matthew uh this is the web uh the world uh english bible and uh this is matthew 22 and it'll be verses 1 through 22. let me zoom in a little bit more here so jesus answered and spoke to them again in parables saying the kingdom of heaven is like a certain king who made a wedding feast for his son and sent out his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent out other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, Behold, I have prepared my dinner. My cattle and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they made light of it, and went their ways, uh, one to his own farm, and another to his merchandise. And the rest grabbed his servants and treated them shamefully and killed them. When the king heard about that, he was angry and sent his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The wedding is ready, but those who are invited weren't worthy. Go therefore into the intersections of the highways, and as many as you find, invite to the wedding feast. Those servants went into the highways and gathered together as many as they found, both bad and good. The wedding was filled with guests. But when the king came to see the guest, he saw there a man who didn't have on wedding clothing. And he said to him, Friend, how did you come in here not wearing wedding clothing? He was speechless. Then the king said to his servants, Buy him hand and foot, and take him away, and throw him into the outer darkness. That is where the weeping and grinding of teeth will be. For many are called, but few are chosen. So when the Pharisees went and took counsel and how they can entrap him in his talk, they sent their disciples to him along with the Herodians, asking, Teacher, we know that you are honest and teach the way of God in truth. No matter whom you teach, you aren't partial to anyone. Tell us before what you think is it lawful to pay taxes to caesar or not but jesus uh, perceived their wickedness and said why do you test me you hypocrites show me the tax money they brought him a denarius and he asked them so whose image is an inscription and they said to him caesar's then he said to them 
Give therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And when they heard it, they marveled and left, left him and went away. So, um, I wanted to bring this up because, well, I mean, tax season, first of all, uh, just passed uh, uh, a few weeks ago. And uh, my birthday is on tax day, April 15th, which is pretty cool. Not really. So, um, but I also had a question about like, you know, this actually comes up in Christian circles a lot. Like, how do you do tithing and everything like that? And uh, the uh, tithing is, you know, is interesting. Uh, do you pay prior to taxes or after taxes, you know? Or do you pay on uh, tithing on your uh, on your gross uh, salary or on your net salary? So I was talking to my wife about this and, and uh, it came down that, you know, I mean, this specific line right here uh, in the end of 21, this one right here, I'll highlight it. This one really shows like where, where Jesus even, uh, was talking about like, well, I mean, for, for salary purposes, I would say give Caesars what is Caesars. That would be pay the government their taxes and then everything that you have left that the first afterwards, then, then you pay off the net. So it's just something that, uh, it, it came to light and it's just like, it gave me peace about that. So, so if you are blessed with a salary and you're blessed with money, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's up to you how you want to tithe. It's not me. Uh, it's not for me to decide. It's just that I see that in scripture. I mean, even Jesus says, give Caesar his first. I mean, not that Caesar deserves that, you know, I mean, how much taxes that a government should take. I mean, it should be, it should be less than, than what they're currently dragging out of us. So, and you know give god what is god's but it should be your first fruit so but that's what i wanted to put there so anyways so um now let's uh do a prayer and uh and we'll start coding okay so wonderful blessed lord thank you for this wonderful day lord and thank you for the message thank you for you know touching our hearts lord with your word and and also with uh with music lord god you you work at amazing things in our lives, Lord God. And Lord, those are so many out in the world that don't know you, Lord. And may this video, may this uh, code, and and I prayerfully hope that this game will touch others too. That uh, it will just be, you know, uh, a light to their heart. You know, this world is so full of darkness, Lord God. And, and we struggle with sin every day lord jesus and i just want to put this uh this project before you and to put it out there lord that uh it will be a light for others lord jesus thank you for this blessed day lord and and may you use my mind my hands and my talents for your glory lord jesus i love you lord all right let's start to code So, um, yeah, t-shirt change. It's, uh, it's the next day. So we're going to do, uh, start coding with, uh, Farmer Sam and the tree. Let's see here. Let me open up another browser. Let me get this one open. Hold on a moment. <laughs> I have the game in another window, I think. Here we go. Here it is. And this one, this window can go away. All right. So this is the last, last thing that we're doing. The music should be playing there. All right. So what I want to do is I want to get the tree to be down in the plane as farmer sam is so so what we need to do is we need to go back to our code and uh let's 
look at the index. Okay, so we have a code to put, see this 3D guy plane is where farmer Sam is being placed. So we use this, this kind of code to put the image. So let's uh, grab this and no animation right now, but we want to do three, 3D tree. And how big is our tree? Um, let's do identify. That's a image magic. Um, that's an image magic item, image magic uh, utility to do graphics. GFX tree dot PNG. So it's this is the size of our tree right here. So 3D tree. And let's keep the Let's keep that part. We're going to ditch all of this. We're not animating anything right now. Let's 3D tree. Okay. No. Uh, right now, we will keep this transform, but we're going to move it down. Here, we're going to put the in this style and position right here. So we'll do style here. And let's ditch. Let's this and put it to the other side it, it'll be okay let's go look at our tree data that's coming in here. Gotta back up a little bit here. Wow, where's our tree data in new? So we set our tree right here. So let's see if it will get put into the zone there. Okay, let's see. Now, it's, it's rebuilding. Let's see if the tree gets, okay, the tree did move, but it definitely needs to come down. So if I go and if I change the position of the three to nine by nine. And then we reload the game. Okay, the tree is delivered to zero.
So, let's see where it's placing the tree. It's not getting anything in there, okay. So it's not sitting anything in there. Okay. Zero two fifty six. Interesting. Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? That's the right direction. This would be nine by nine. Okay. I think we're getting it. Let's move the tree to like five by five. Okay, so we got the tree to be in the same plane as Farmer Sam, but I want the tree to be in the window. So the data of the tree needs to be, okay. So I think trees should be part of the map array instead of the object array. I think that would be better. C 
So let's do it this way instead. Um, okay. And that rand tree equals RNG gen range zero dot ten. So one and ten will have a tree. If rand tree is greater than, say, six, put a tree there. No. Let's have No, we can put the object array with the other one. That's totally cool because it's going to be a morphable terrain anyways. That would work better. Let's take the and make this the object that's in the tile. All right. It's better to have. Let's remove. I don't like the idea of having this um, world map data. It's fine. What I don't want is. The rest will be cool.
Let's see if it worked. Uh oh. I think I messed up with the. I think it's supposed to be like that. It was a template issue. You don't put parentheses in there. Got it. Alrighty. Um, let's wipe out the old sessions that are here. Because I have a lot. Let's make a new game. No trees, huh? Okay, so let's look at that session. Got game session. Ooh, boy. Yeah, I can see they randomly picked trees. There's quite a few trees in there, but it's not showing them. Okay, so what's going on here? Bunch of blanks, huh? So maybe my equivalence things are not working. Oh, how did I do that? Hmm. I think I have some code that's in another project. Um, in the test array? I don't think I have an if. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what it is. Excuse me, sorry. To another app I'm working on. In my DTube account maker, what happens is it does go like this. Okay, so I need an if equal. Oh, I got it. The equals got to be inside of there, so it's got to go like. Parenthesis, parenthesis. All right. So now let's see if that'll work. Let's refresh that one. Oh, yeah. Now the trees are showing up. Not that much, but you know what? That might be just enough. <gasps> Too many trees. <laughs> yes. Farmer Sam's got trees. He's in the orchard. Yes. That looks cool. Okay. Trees look a little blurry, but... Here. 
trees don't look so pixelated. Actually, I want them there. We go. But let's uh let's redo a new session, but with less trees. Right now we have the tree population is about forty percent. So let's raise this to eight instead. So make less trees. So let's make a new game session. And okay, that tree is up there. There we go. Nice. Love it. It even I can even be happy behind the tree. trees in the field and they're moving around with us and yeah it's looking really good i hope you enjoyed this episode of episode 18 you guys have a great day this is wilt man bye